So now we are going to discuss the questions we can expect from the particular the plant tissues. Okay. So in the previous question session we have discussed something about the the morphology features or the questions we can expect from the morphology of plants. And over here we are going to uh, discuss the questions of the tissues of the flowering plants. And see the first question. Which meristem helps in increasing the girth of the plant? Okay, girth refers to width. Okay, so as I told you, uh, while we are discussing the the meristems, primary meristems and the secondary meristem, the secondary growth or the secondary or lateral meristems over there, I told you in case of dicots. Okay, so they have some the increasing in the girth by means of some uh, meristems. Okay, the question is talking about which meristem helps in increasing the particular girth and see the choices primary meristem they are not going to involve in the uh, increasing the girth because primary meristem is common for all the plants they are going to participate in the apical meristem they are going to participate in the shoot root and growing, grow, growing of anything and of course apical meristem is a kind of primary and intercalary is not belongs to the particular secondary growth and the answer over here is lateral meristem the lateral meristem, the vascular cambium and the car cambium, they are going to involved in the increasing the girth of the particular plant. And see the next question, the pith and the cortex do not differentiate in. Okay. And the pith and the cortex, the, uh, these two regions are in the center of the particular plant system and the question is talking about in which system we, uh, the particular pith and cortex will not be differentiated into the different structures. Okay. And there are some choices, monocot and dicot, root and stem. And you have to find out the correct answer. Okay, you can easily eliminate the dicots because normally in dicots you can see the differentiated structure. And you have to choose between the stem and root. The answer over here is the monocot stem will not have the differentiated pith and cortex. And the next question, the pericycle of roots produces. Okay, pericycle is a layer just adjacent to the endodermis. Okay. And in some uh, endodermis, the, that will be intercepted by the xylem and phloem. The question is talking about or asking about the role of pericycle or the pericycle gonna produces and see the choices mechanical support, lateral roots, vascular bundles, and uh, adventitious buds. You can easily eliminate the vascular bundles and adventitious buds because they are not gonna be belongs to the particular pericycle. And you have to choose between the mechanical support and the lateral roots. Okay. So actually, they are the one they are going to produce the lateral roots. Okay, and that is the answer for the particular question. And see the next question: the bordered pits are found in. Okay, as I told you in the beginning, you will always get the direct questions, direct morphological feature questions in the particular chapter. Okay, so over here, this question is asking about which type of cell or structure they are going to have the particular pits. Okay, and you can easily pick up the answer because this sieve cells, vessel walls, companion cells and sieve tube cells only the wall they are going to uh, have the particular pits and border pits will be present in the vessel wall and see the next question the where do the Casparian stripes gonna occur okay Casparian stripe is being uh, discovered by Mr. Caspari okay that is why we are giving the name Casparian stripes this is also a, a layer present uh, just adjacent to the endodermis. Okay, so the answer over here is the Casparian stripe occurs in the endodermis. You can easily eliminate the, all the remaining choices phloem, pericycle, and exodermis. Now we are going to see the next set of questions. And now we are going to see the next set of questions from the plant tissues. And see the first question, the lenticels are involved in, okay, there are some choices given for you, the function or lo, role may be the uh, role of the particular lenticels. And food transport, photosynthesis, water transport and a gas exchange. So what are lenticels as I told you in the uh, introduction classes, lenticels are formed or modified form of the particular secondary growth, okay. So after the increasing in the girth, after the increasing the width, the external structure of a uh, plant or the tree is gonna uh, broken and they're gonna form the bark, okay. And those bark and they're gonna form the the gaps or they're gonna form the uh, small opening like structures. That is what called lenticels, okay. And those lenticels they're gonna involved in the gas exchange of a particular. 
plant. Okay, so the answer over here is gas exchange. And in next question, the interfascicular cambium develops from the cells of okay. So interfascicular cambium, as, discuss, as we have discussed in the the secondary growth, okay, they are gonna uh, perform in the formation of the secondary xylem and phloem. From the interfascicular cambium, it is gonna develop into a intrafascicular cambium. Okay, from the intrafascicular, they are gonna develop into interfascicular cambium with the help of medullary rays. Okay, actually they are going to produce the secondary medullary rays later while uh, after the forming of the particular secondary xylem and secondary phloem. Okay, you can easily eliminate the xylem, pericycle and endodermis. They are going to be formed from the medullary rays. After that they are going to be developed into secondary medullary rays and uh, along with the interfascicular cambium. And next question, tracheids differs from other treachery elements or, okay, so over here, what is the difference between the uh, cells tracheids from other elements of the tertiary part? Okay, having Casparian stripes being imperforate, lacking nucleus and uh, being lignified. The answer over here, whenever we are thinking about a tracheids, they are imperforate. There will be no uh, holes or pores in the particular tracheids. Okay, they are imperforate for any substances. That is what you have to remember. See the next question, the transport of food in higher plants through and there are choices for you, companion cells, transfusion tissue, tracheids and sieve elements, okay. Higher plants, this is what you have to remember, in the higher plants, the normally the food particles or food substances are transported through the sieve elements, okay. They are the uh, better structures in the angiosperm, they are going to transport the food particles through the particular system. And see the next question, the car campium and vascular campium are, okay, this question is talking about the, the secondary growth, okay, and see the choices, part of the secondary xylem and phloem, part of pericycle, lateral meristem and uh, apical meristem, okay. So, as we all know, they are going to participate in the formation of secondary and uh, uh, secondary xylem and phloem, but they are not being part of the particular thing. Car cambium and vascular cambium are lateral meristems. Okay, that is that is where you have to answer the particular type of question. And see the final question: auxiliary bud and terminal bud derived from. Okay, there are some choices: lateral meristem, intercalary meristem, parenchyma, and apical meristem. Just remember one thing: all the buds are being uh, originated from the the apical meristem only. From the tips only, they are the buds going to origin. Okay, the choice over here is apical meristem and these kind of direct questions, the morphological featured questions you can expect from the plant tissues and now we are going to discuss the questions from the animal uh, tissues and uh, the anatomy of the cockroach. Now we are going to discuss something about the, the questions we can expect from the, the animal tissues, okay. So as I told you over here also you can expect the direct questions, the morphological and uh, the anatomical features, the tissue types and what are all the, the major characteristic features of the particular tissue and what are the, the location of the site of the particular tissue and the examples begin the particular tissue. Then the questions you can expect from the model animal we have studied that is the cockroach. Okay. And see the first question, the tissue forms okay, supportive structure in pinna, pinna is an external ear of animal. Okay. So the tissue which forms the supportive structure in ear is also found in. Okay then you should know something about which tissue is present in the particular pinna. As I told you in the introduction classes, the cartilaginous tissue, okay, the yellow cartilaginous tissue, the fibrous, fibrous yellow cartilaginous tissue is present in the ear or pinna or external ear, okay. So, they are also present in, there are some choices given for you, nails, ear ossicles, tip of the nose and vertebrae, okay. The point you have to remember over here, the cartilages is also present in the tip of the nose, vertebrae is made up of some other type of tissue and ear ossicles and nails are not belongs to the particular yellow cartilage, the yellow cartilage over here as present in the, the pinna also present in the tip of the nose. And see the next question, the cell junctions are found in, okay, cell junctions are the junctions in between the cells of a tissue which gonna connect the tissues. There are so many types of cell junctions we have seen. The tight junctions, adhering junctions, gap junctions, okay. So, all these junctions, they are going to connect, they are going to 
uh, hold or adhere uh, cells in the particular tissue and you have to find out the correct tissue in which type of tissue the particular junction gonna occur. Neural tissue there you cannot see any connection or junction over the muscular tissue and connective tissue you can eliminate the choice over here correct choice over here is epithelial tissue in the epithelial cells all the epithelial cells are being interconnected or interlinked by the uh, junctions called cell junctions and see the next question the proteins present in the cartilage ok so uh, I told you while we were discussing the cartilage is made up of some kind of specific cells and they, are, they contain some kind of specific proteins and you have to find out the protein over here you may attempt to choose the answer cartilagen there is no such protein so we can easily eliminate that arsen is a protein present in bones ok so the answer over here is chondrins ok chondrocyte cells they are going to secrete the proteins called chondrins they are in the structure called cartilage ok which cells do not form layers and remain separate this is very interesting question as I told you over here there are some cells given for epithelial cells muscle cells nerve cell and gland cells ok which cell they will not form any layers uh, of cells and they will be always in a separate form and you can easily eliminate the epithelial cells always they are going to be in a layer form epithelial layers muscle cells also in a layer form skeletal muscles cardiac muscles and uh, the smooth muscles you may attempt to choose in between the gland and uh, nerve cells you may uh, go for gland cells because you may think they are ductless ok glands there are types ductless or with ducts or tubes ok but this question is talking about without layer the cells are in individual form so you can easily eliminate the gland cells the nerve cells ok so nerve cells normally they will not form any layers they will be in a, a free cell forms in a separate free cell form and they will connect with each other and they will continue to or they will uh, conduct the signals from one cell to or one part of the body to another part of the body and see the next question the cell lining the blood vessels ok so what are the cells they are gonna line or in the uh, covering of the particular blood vessels as see the answer choices smooth muscle tissue squamous epithelium columnar epithelium and uh, connective tissue you can easily eliminate the connective tissue because they are not gonna be here and you may attempt to choose the smooth muscle tissue smooth muscle tissue is not going to be over here ok the answer over here is squamous epithelium because they are single layered whenever uh, you are seeing the term lining they are made up of single layer and they are being covered with a single layer of the particular epithelial cells that is called squamous epithelium ok and see the next question the main form of the nitrogenous waste in cockroach as I told you the cockroaches are uricotelic animals they uh, they will excrete the waste product by means of the malfeasant tubes in the form of the uric acid ok and as I told you there are choices given for you urea, calcium carbonate, ammonia and uh, potassium urate you may attempt to choose the urea this is not the correct answer because they are not ureotelic they are uricotelic uric acid animals ok so you can easily eliminate the calcium carbonate they will not uh, excrete ammonia they will convert the ammonia into uric acid over here the potassium urate or potassium uric acid urate refers to uric acid over here so the answer over here is potassium urate now we are going to see the next set of questions and see the next question over here in the animal tissues what external changes are visible after the last mold of the cockroach I told you over the uh, cockroach reproductive system uh, they have the indirect development ok so they are going to develop through the the nymphal stages ok they are going to go through the uh, different uh, nymphs and they are going to go through the moltings and after the last molting they are going to develop into a adult form ok so this question is talking about what will happen or what will be the very visible change after the last molt of the particular development in the cockroach and see the choices both four wings and hind wings develops labium develops mandibles becomes harder and uh, anal crisi develops ok and you can easily eliminate the anal crisi and uh, mandibles become harder because they are the part of the nymphal stages 
labium also becomes uh, in the part of the uh, primitive stages or in the nymph stages and the major point only in the adult we can see the, the particular four wings and the hin wings. Okay. Just before the adult stage or in the last nymphal stage, they will have only the, the wing pad, not the uh, developed wings. Okay. They will have only the wing pads. So, the, this is the correct choice over here. The both the four wings and hin wings developed only in the, the last stage or in the during the formation of adult of the, the molting of the cockroach. Okay. And see the next question, the ciliated columnar epithelium in human occurs in and the location. Okay. And there are some choices, eustachian tube, stomach lining, branchioles and fallopian tube, okay. bile duct and esophagus, fallopian tube and urethra. I told you while we are discussing the tissues, the ciliated columnar epithelium which contains the cilia on the surface, okay. they are going to participate in the movement of particles okay so they are going to move some particles so they must be present in the some linings and see the choices over here eustachian tube they are going to be in a lining but stomach lining you can go for and branchioles and fallopian tube bile duct and esophagus fallopian tube and urethra among this this is the correct answer branchioles and fallopian tube they are going to move the mucus in case of branchioles and, and they are going to move the particles in case of the fallopian uh, tube. Okay. And the choice over here is B for the particular type of question. And C, uh, the third question, the must cells secrete. Okay. So, we did not discuss anything about the blood cells over here in the particular chapter. As I told you, we are going to discuss the entire details of the blood cells in the uh, human physiology. But the point you have to remember over here, must cell is a kind of blood cell they are going to participate or they are going to involved in the hypersensitivity reaction of a animal by secreting some substances called histamines. Okay. So, you can easily eliminate the myoglobin and hemoglobin. They are the proteins of muscles and uh, uh, blood respectively. Hemoglobin is a uh, protein present in the RBCs. Okay. Hippurin is an auto substance secreted by the muscles. Histamine is a substance produced by or secreted by the muscles they are going to participate in the hypersensitivity reactions and we are going to discuss those details later while we are in the animal physiology that is human physiology and see the next question the male and female cockroaches can be distinguished externally through and what is the external future you will go for to distinguish the male and female animal as I told you they are dioecious they have male part and female part or separate male body or female body over here, what is the external feature you can go for to differentiate the male and the female? Okay, and see the choices: anal crea in females, anal style and antenna in female, and both B and C are anal style in male. The point you have to remember over here: the anal crea is present in both male and female. So you can easily eliminate the choice when you can easily eliminate the choice B. You can easily eliminate the D also. If the D is wrong, C is also wrong. Okay. So, I will tell you the clue. The anal cray and antenna is present both in male and female cockroaches. The answer over here is anal style. Okay. With the help of anal style, we can differentiate. Anal style is only present in the male cockroaches. Okay. And see the next question. The areolar connective tissue joints. Okay. So, while we are discussing the connective tissue, I told you there are uh, types of connective tissue, dense connective tissue and dense irregular and dense regular connective tissue. Okay. And over here, the areolar connective tissue or, and adipose connective tissues are loose connective tissues. Okay. So, they are present just beneath the skin. So, you have to guess the role of the particular areolar connective tissue over here. They are going to join bones with bones, fat body with muscles, integuments with muscles, bones with the particular muscles. You can easily eliminate the remaining choices as I told you. They will not going to be fused the bones. Bones as I told you they are going to be just beneath the muscle. Okay. And fat body with the muscle. Fat body with the muscle will be done by the adipose tissue and bones you can easily eliminate. The choice over here is integuments with the muscles. And see the last question over here. The collagen. Collagen is a and there are some choices given for you. Is a fibrous protein, is a globular protein, lipid or carbohydrate. 
you may attempt to choose for or go for a carbohydrate you can easily eliminate the carbohydrate because collagen is a protein okay so you can easily eliminate the carbohydrate and lipid and you have to choose from globular and fibrous i told you collagen is uh, they are going to be in a part of a muscle they are going to make up the the strong fibers are flexible or elastic fibers of the muscle and they are fibrous proteins okay so this is how you have to answer the questions from the particular chapter as i told you in the particular unit in the particular chapters okay uh, you will get always you will get the direct questions from the morphological features from the identification characters and the examples and the location of the particular tissues and uh, cells or the structure uh, external structures or anatomical features of the particular uh, animal or plant system okay and in the next system or in the next unit we are going to discuss something about the cells or the biomolecules and their details